All right, I'm going to talk to you guys a little bit about these Bauer tools and what kind of success I've had with them, with them and what kind of failures I've had over the last two years of using them. And uh, I've been using this thing pretty, pretty much all the time. I mean, we use it all the time and uh, yet to have it not work. Um, so here's some of the things that I found out after using them and one of those things was actually from one of you guys that was watching the video if you were the one who did that please uh, make a comment we love to hear your comments because those comments help even me um, trying to figure out other things about these tools and how to make them work better also um, but it also helps other people so read the comments too a lot of that helps uh, helps the video and helps other people so that's really what this channel is all about is to help people so anyway let's talk about this power tool set and what I've had that worked well and what I've had a little bit of a problem with I really haven't had any real problems but the problem that I had with this um, and really it's like it wasn't really the tool itself was uh, the charger actually wasn't working and uh, we thought it wasn't working and so we stopped by Harbor Freight of course they're only twenty dollars for another charger so it was like hey you know what just go buy one for twenty bucks who cares you know like a DeWalt one would probably be about a hundred probably have to buy a whole new drill to get one so we went over there and what we we're having a problem with is it wasn't charging the battery what we found out I think is maybe the battery was overheating or we were running it on an inverter inside the car, so we were running on like a little 400 amp inverter that we have plugged, or 150 amp inverter, which is very, and we had this charging, and we also had the the, uh, the earthquake charging at the same time, because we used this tool and the earthquake on the road, um, and it, it wasn't charging, and when I put a new charger in it, it worked fine, um, but then later on, we put to the old charger, plugged it in the wall, and we tried it again and the other charger started working so it probably wasn't really an issue with the tool it was more of a user thing I think we kind of maxed out that 150 amp uh, inverter that we had in the car so uh, it's good it, it worked really well for us because we can charge our tools while we're driving and we go from location to location removing signs so it's really a, a great tool for that and a great way to do it so a lot of the guys have said that this my my other guys have the same tool and they go oh this thing's a piece of crap it shuts off all the time and uh you know the uh, the grinder because it has a protective circuit in it which actually helps the machine uh not overheat so and not ruin the battery and i think that's the whole reason that they have that in there he wants to try and disable his um I'm discouraging them from doing that um, because there isn't a, a better option. It's called that battery right there. One of the guys who um, commented on the channel says, hey, get the bigger battery. And I'm like, what? More capacity. Um, and it, it actually runs faster and has more power. And uh, it actually the, it doesn't cut off as much. So I thought, well, hell, you know, these are like super cheap. I think they're like. I think they're like 40 bucks. I mean, I'm going to say. I don't really remember. But, you know, compared to a DeWalt battery, which is over 100, you know, that's like a good deal. So, and all of these batteries still work. We haven't had a battery failure. And I, I'm not sure. We were having a little bit of like a leakage issue here on this one. This has been a, this is two years old. So, that's actually pretty good, you know, and it's a $20 replacement. So, I look at it like this, you know how can I lose? You know, it's compared to the other tools that are out there in the same category that have the same amount of power um, and strength, you know, how can I lose with these uh, cheaper option that does basically the same thing? And and a lot of people say, oh, well, no, my, my DeWalt or my Milwaukee or my whatever is way better. And maybe it is, okay, maybe it's just a little bit better or maybe it's marginally better i don't think it is really honestly after using these i don't think that there's anything else other than maybe the hercules it's a little bit better um this you know that's significantly better for the money and for the money on top of that and for the extra batteries and everything that you get you can get for the same price you spend on the others it's like why wouldn't you buy the bauer one so we did what he said 
the guy says, hey, try the try the uh, the big battery in it and it doesn't stall. And man, he was right. I mean, it really you could lean on it a lot harder. You could put a lot more into it um, with this battery in it and it had more RPMs and uh, it had more power and it then it, it, we could go through a whole sequence of cutting stuff that we needed to cut with a cutoff wheel which we're using these here the cutoff wheels um easy these ones from harbor freight which some guys go oh the dewalt ones and all those are better maybe so um but it's, i think it's more of the user issue uh if you if you're really careful and you don't push on these things really hard they don't break um they actually work fine i don't have any problems with them but um, we were using those cutoff wheels and cutting off uh, stainless steel signs. So we're cutting through stainless steel, and it's a little hard, and it's a little slow to cut. And, we're, you know, these are one-inch bars that are, you know, pretty thick. They were, you know, probably eighth-inch thick, you know, steel square tubing. And we're cutting through those things with this thing. And with the original battery, uh, th with these batteries here, the cheap ones, the $20 ones, they actually it would stall a lot and you know, we were having problems with it and halfway through the job we'd have to switch batteries because we cut like like four or five banner stands at once and when we get to the last one uh you know the batter the, the battery would be worn out but funny thing is with this being twice as big it it would you know and, and sometimes we'd run out of battery with two batteries by going through those this thing never would run out this thing would cut through all of them and then We'd have enough time in the car between sites, you know, 15 minutes or so, that it would be fully charged again. So uh, it 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 still charged up. You know, it didn't run it completely dead. It wasn't near all the way dead. That's what I'm trying to say is um, it's way more efficient with this battery. So if you're considering buying the Bauer tools, um, you might want to get one of these heavy-duty batteries. I don't know what this would do to that. I mean, if I put this in there, I mean, I bet it would probably even make that thing more powerful. And... That thing's already super powerful as it is. It's it's stronger than my uh, my Bosch, um, my Bosch 18 volt, of course. All right, maybe mine's a 20 volt. I don't know. Stronger than my Bosch one. Uh, it's got more power. We dropped the hell out of it. I threw it one day, and I lost this little thing here. I got pissed off because it was in my way, and I just chucked it across the ground. Probably did that damage right there, and uh, it took the abuse. It didn't, you know. We are pretty tough on that tool because it's so cheap. You know, what the heck? You know, I can just go replace it for what? You know, and the trick is buying these. A lot of guys go, well, you know, in the store, you can't use a 20% off coupon. That's true. You can't use a 20% off coupon. But if you go to that, if you go on the, if you go on your phone and you look up Harbor Freight Free, there's a, uh, there's a website you'll pull up on there that says HB, let's see, HBF. Harbor Freight DBQ or something like that. I don't know, something like that. You'll see a bunch of letters that look something like that. I'm not going to say that's exactly the way it is. But if you look on there, you go on that website, you can find a specific coupon for Bauer Tools. So if you find a specific coupon that says Bauer, to this particular Bauer Tool, Bauer Grinder, you know, whatever it is, normally it's $79 and on the coupon it's $59. You can use that coupon. You just can't use your 20% off ones. So the same thing with the Earthquake. If you guys are considering buying the Earthquake uh, cordless, which I would absolutely recommend. I would absolutely recommend these tools. They, I've had no problems, no issues with them. They've got great power. Um, and the replacement batteries are the, are the biggest plus, I'd say, on these because they're so cheap. You know, $20. I don't think this was $40. I don't remember. But... Um, I think it was 39 bucks. These were 29 or 19.99, and uh, you know that's my biggest thing. And, and the charger being 20 bucks. If you if you're burning, you know, your concern is, oh wow, maybe the charger won't last. Well, look, 20 bucks for a charger for a second one. You know, geez, I mean, what a deal. So to me, the you know the the tool price itself, like this thing might be like 69 dollars, and you might say, well, I can get a Dewalt for like a hundred. But then when you add up the cost of the extra battery and, you know, if the charger breaks, which they do, I mean, all of them do every once in a while or whatever, you're, you're still ahead with this tool. So 
you know, that's the way I look at it. And if you get the coupons, if you go on that HBF DDBQ, you just look up on your phone, Harbor Freight Free. I just, usually what I, what I do is I have an Android phone. I go on my phone. I go in the search bar and I put in, I just yell in it, Harbor Freight Free. While I'm in the store, everybody's looking at me, what? And then I go out and I find myself a free thing, of course, and I can't use the 20% off on this. But then I'll go down and I'll search for the specific coupon for this item, like this the warrior, the other items, or not warrior, but the uh, uh, the links. If you're considering the links blower, I have one of those. Works fantastic, and it's so cheap. And uh, the battery replacements again are pretty reasonable. So, and I haven't, I've had that over a year, and I haven't had to replace my battery yet. So, I don't know what they're doing. That's different, Harbor Freight, um, but they're actually getting stuff that actually works and lasts pretty good i'm not going to say it's the best thing on the market but when you compare the best to this um are you really getting a whole lot more you know could you be using this for a year when you might get two years out of the other tool and you might spend three times as much money come on you know think about it it's just math it's probably a better deal to go with the cheaper one and just replace it but you know that's up to you anyway that's the look i've had with this tool it's been absolutely fantastic. Um, the guy who commented on here about the uh, tw using the big battery, thumbs up to you, man. That really helped us out this year. And I would highly recommend that if you buy it, get the big battery for the grinder. It works fantastic. Talk to you in the next video. Please like, share, and subscribe.